Hi everyone, I'm back with another recipe. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make pasta bolognese bake Slimming World style. This is one of my favourite dishes ever, ever, ever. Right, okay then. So basically I've, pre I've sprayed the pan with fry light, just let that heat up. And I've got mince. The mince I've got is 5%. Lay it on it so they can screenshot it right now. 5%. If you're using 5% mince, then it will make this dish a free food. But if you're using 10, 12, 15, 20, whatever you use, it won't be free food. So basically, I'm going to put this in the frying pan now, then I'll talk you through whatever else we need and how we cook it. Um, this has been one of my favourite dishes from day one. I absolutely and utterly love this dish. It is amazing. So while that's just cooking slowly, I'm just going to show you what else you're going to need. You're going to need mushrooms, a carrot, a tin of tomatoes, oregano, I don't know whether I've said that right, salt and pepper, an oxo cube, and two bits of garlic, and also if you're making this in two separate pots, because it will definitely make at least two meals, you need the whatever cheese you're using to whatever grams you're allowed. Like I spoke to you before in my last video, I use the 50% fat, um, reduced fat from Asda. So I've weighed out here 80 grams. Um, not because anybody else is eating with me tonight because my son don't like this dish, but I'm doing it um, so that tomorrow at dinner there'll be a portion as well for myself, even though I'm having it tonight because like I say, it's my favorite. I could never get sick of it, I love this. So while that's on, leave that to cook. That's it. I'm going to now put the pasta on. So I've boiled the kettle just before we tuned in. I like to use a dish like this so that you can um, see it layered. I just think it looks really nice. Um, but you can use any dish. Sometimes I just use white ceramic dishes. So while we're waiting, I'm just going to chop up my mushrooms. Oh. That nearly dropped. <laughs> So I forgot to tell you as well, you needed an onion, I forgot to add that in. So I've just chopped up the mushroom and the onion, I've put that along with the mince. And that's all cooking lovely. Um, while I'm just waiting for, not waiting, but what else I need to do next, should I say, is put my garlic in. So I'm going to use two bits of garlic to put in this. It's so hard to do these. Right, that's two bits of garlic have gone in there. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut the ends and everything off the carrot, ready for me to grate it. So I'm just going to cut the very ends off, and I'm just going to take the very first layer off before I grate what I'm going to put in with it, okay? I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. Okay, leave that all to one side. Just mix in this garlic. Coming on nice. So then I just use one carrot because sometimes I think it can overfill it too much. Um, and this just gives it a really nice taste and everything. If you do it without it, it won't taste the same for definite. It is beautiful, I love it. And I know you're probably saying she says that about every single dish. And I know I do, but they are all beautiful. I can't believe it myself how nice they all are. So I'm just going to grate that in. Right, so that's all the carrot, carrot even, <laughs> that's all the carrot grated in there. So we've got the mince, the mushroom, the onions and the carrot so far. Let's try and spread that about a bit. So we've got mince, mushroom, onion, carrot and garlic. I keep forgetting to tell you things, you're not going to know these recipes. Right, now what we're going to do, we're going to add the oxo. Okay, she says. 
Is the oxo gone in? Just one oxo. Right, just chop that up. You can either use a stock or an oxo. I use either on this dish. Um, I've done this dish absolutely loads of times because, like I've just said to you, I love it. Um, and every time I've even done it for other people, they're, they're like, oh my god, that is beautiful. I can't believe how nice it is. Right now, I'm going to put a bit of oregano in it. A bit of oregano, I think I've said it right. Bit of that. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. So, in this recipe, we've got mince, mushroom, onion, garlic, carrots, pepper, salt, oxo, or stock, whichever you like. Right, just leave that to cook a little bit longer. And then I'm just going to put a tin of tomatoes in. And then I just basically leave it to just get red hot and just simmer for a bit. And then I'll just put it in the um, in the glass dish and put the cheese over it and then put that in the oven. So I'm going to add my tin of tomatoes now. Add my tin of tomatoes. Lovely jerky. Keep turning it a bit, getting everything mixed together. Oh, look at that, that is beautiful, isn't it? You could even use this, obviously, this is the pasta bolognese bake mix, but you could actually use this just for a spike bowl and just fill it out with peppers, well anything you want really, you can put loads of speed food in it, couldn't you? Whatever you like, I mean I think I have done it this way as a spag bowl before, but I must admit I do prefer pasta bolognese bake, so gorgeous. Right, so I'm just going to leave that for 5-10 minutes and then when um, uh, that's had 5 or 10 minutes I'll show you it once I've put it in the uh, glass dish and put in the oven and then you'll see the finished result after that. Right we're just about ready now that's just about cooked lovely. Um, so basically I'm just going to take my pasta off and I'm going to drain it. Cheek. That's the pasta all done and ready. Now I'm going to take off the mints and put it in. Okay, so we're all ready. Put that in there like that. Then I'm going to put the pasta on top. Oh, you can't beat this dish, it is amazing. Then I'm going to put the mince on the top again. And just make sure that you cover all the, pa the pasta with it, just because sometimes if the pasta's showing, when you put it in the oven, it can burn it and ruin it. You know, make your pasta really hard, should I say. So that's that all done. That's looking beautiful, like I told you it would. And now I just need to get my cheese. And remember, I have used double the amount here because I'm using this for two different meals, okay? And always check the amount of pe uh, cheese you can have on whatever cheese you've got, please. And then you can't blame me if you're on your Slimming World journey and you've said, Vicky Buckland said use this amount. Because I'm saying use the amount that's right on the cheese you use. Okay, so that's that all ready now. Look how beautiful that is. That's going to go in the oven now just for 10 minutes. And then I will show you the finished results after. So it's now come out the oven, look. And this is the finished result. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Look at that. Wow. That is amazing. Beautiful.
Rita for. Oh, it's burning me. Look at that bad boy. That is beautiful. Now I'm off to enjoy, guys.